Well, it's come to this. One Bay Area business owner said he had no choice but to do this. He and his associates took care of a thief themselves. And he tells Chris and Ayers he wanted police to deal with it, but he couldn't get them to answer the phone. It's like we're in the wild, wild west. Hey, the dude, you know, right now. Call it Wild West Oakland. The people who run Ideal Market are going after a man who they say has stolen from them three times. Monday, he was caught on surveillance video. And he's uh, taking the first bottle, he's sticking in his jacket. When workers tried to call police on the non emergency line, they got a busy signal. Sometimes they don't even respond to the call. The market has been targeted over and over again, like this time in 2012. Employees claim police wouldn't even look at their surveillance video. There's no police resources out here to take care of stuff like this. So they've resorted to taking care of petty crimes themselves. It's a sentiment Council Member Libby Schaff, who's running for mayor, has heard repeatedly. People feel like they're out there on their own without support from their own city. I don't agree or condone the whole vigilante thing. Samaje, who works nearby and didn't want to show her face, worries this kind of street justice sets a dangerous precedent for business owners that could backfire. I definitely see and can understand why they felt the need to take these measures, you know. I just don't agree with them. And I wish that they weren't put in a position to have to do that. Oakland police told us they did not have time to talk to us about this incident or other thefts at Ideal Market. They said they were too busy with protests tonight. In Oakland, Kristen Ayers, KPIX 5.